What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now we have to go over some rather important information. We're going to go over the NSCC 011 as well as go over the technical analysis and give you guys the rundown what I expect next week. And a lot of people are saying we're going to see this short squeeze start next week. And if we do see this happen, it won't be as big as we do hope it will be. So we're going to be going over everything you guys need to know as far as what I'm looking at and the most likely time Time frame we could actually see this short squeeze but we are under a tornado warning but that never stopped any eight from getting the information that they do need so make sure you hit that like button for me i do greatly appreciate it now getting right into this video guys we are in a pennant right now that is where our bottom end trend line going to the upside is obviously in a trend line fashion and we do have the downside trend line as well we are in a bullish uptrend but this is called a pennant and once you do get this meeting pretty much where we are right now definitely throughout the rest of this week you're expected to see a move a break to the upside and go over this trend line or a break to the downside now it's usually 50 50 but we do see a strong consolidation period obviously we all know this in between about 50 dollars and our major resistance level at 60 dollars per share so i do expect a break from the upside as long as we can stay above this really 52 to 53 dollar support level i will go ahead and mark this now, we are going to get into a lot of important things, but I do just want to point this out for anybody that is in doubt. We are very bullish, and this is going to be the story. I'm sure you guys are hearing it from other people as well, but I have an interesting take on this. Now, all the factors you do look at are for the positive of AMC. Even the Ortex data signifying that our short interest is going up exponentially. And yes, I say exponentially because even a 1% change is a big deal when you're talking about millions and millions of shares. Currently at 18.67%, current uh, amount of shares that are sold short of 95.45 million. Now, we are seeing shorts that are increasing their short positions. They are either doing one of two things things or maybe a mix of both and like i pointed out with the average days on loan the reason we are seeing this going down and currently at 31 days is the average time on loan which does put us at about 12 to 14 dollar range this is simply because a lot of older shorts either are covering their positions and we're seeing additional shorts coming in at these levels and shorting or the most likely uh, scenario out of the two is that shorts are just continuing to double down on their positions now bigger hedge funds like we know citadel has a short position on AMC, which we will get into later into the video. But firms like that that have more capital available at their disposal are able to stay in their short positions for a longer period of time and not be forced margin call because it's not the same for every single hedge fund or institution. Just because AMC were to, were to double from here, yes, a lot of funds would be margin called and forced to put up extra collateral to stay in their positions or either cover their positions, but other larger hedge funds will be able to hold out longer something like citadel with 407 billion dollars under management and we have done the calculations from their 58 million dollar short position down about 950 percent so they are down about 500 million dollars but that is still a drop in the bucket compared to their overall portfolio now what i want to keep you guys informed about is potentially what i'm looking for and it is this if the stock market starts to go down and AMC starts to go up. Obviously, shorts that are shorting AMC are going to be losing money once AMC does go up, but that collateral, that money that they are using from other stock investments will be going down at the same time. So that will be like a two-edged sword working against these shorts, and that, I think, will lead us into the actual short squeeze, and that is something very, very important to keep in mind since we do have a lot of factors that are indicating that we could be going into a possible downtrend or a stock market crash in the next coming weeks weeks and coming months even now i want to turn you guys attention to the uh, DTC 2021-011 and this is about market disruption events and it is quite interesting that we do have the stress test with the banks that just came out last week potentially preparing for a 55% crash in the stock market and you do have a lot of other factors from uh, people with significant importance when it does come to market events 
saying that we are going into a crash or correction now we have the DTC actually putting this into wording themselves and they are not specifically saying we are going to go into a crash or correction but they are preparing for this and giving investors a guideline of what to expect if this does happen now market disruption events this says rule 38 market disruption and force major and major and force major rule contains provisions that identify the events or circumstances that would be considered a market disruption event including for example events that lead to suspension or limitation of trading or banking in the markets in which DTC operates or the available unavailability or failure of any material payment bank transfer wire or security settlement systems under the force majeure rule during the pendency of market disruption event DTC would be entitled to suspend the provision of any or all sources and take or refrain from taking or require members to take or refrain from taking any actions DTC considers appropriate to address alleviate or mitigate the event and facilitate the continuation of DTC's facilities as may be practical practicable now when it does come to this essentially long story short they are saying if one hedge fund or institution does default on their payments they are not going to cause a chain reaction to actually crash the DTC system and how they do operate with the clearing corporation so they're essentially saying that if you are a part of this this hedge fund or institution that is having problems you are essentially going to be on your own and you are not getting bailed out by the DTCC the Department of Clearing corporation now with that being said that does have some huge implications because we are seeing this wording come into effect as well as wording from obviously the fed with their stress test preparing for the worst case scenario in their in their eyes which would be about late 2022 in the middle of 2022 this is only a circumstance it's not saying it's gonna happen or is likely to happen but i do think everyone would say that a crash or correction is overdue on a lot of uh, different variations and ways you want to look at it from technicals from the overall fundamental valuation of the stock market and all the money that has been pumped into it we are due for a crash or correction so like i said essentially this is saying you will be on your own and they will do whatever they have to do to stay up and running for the facility facilities that are not underwater and are able to participate in this now that is pretty much all you guys need to know from this that is the main point and i didn't want to go too far into it because there's a lot of implications you guys can pull out this means this this means this but that is essentially what it is saying now as far as this whole uh, perspective of july 2nd this next week monday through friday being the di the week that we actually start to short squeeze i don't think that is the case because if we want to go to these multi-thousand dollar price points we need a gamma squeeze and a short squeeze yes if we see 95 million shares being covered as well as FOMO buying and some options activity obviously at the same time that will lead to a significant squeeze but we're not going to multi thousand dollar price points we need a significant gamma squeeze as well and quite frankly there is nothing crazy about next week's option chain we only have 39,570 contracts that are in the money as well as out the money at 136,595 contracts so I don't know who is saying this but but I wouldn't be gambling a bunch of money on these options, either the July 2nd or J July 9th. And this is only me personally talking. I'm not a financial advisor, so do whatever you want. Just be prepared to lose this money if you are doing way far out the money options. Now, in my personal opinion, the $60 calls, $65 calls, $70, that's more reasonable. And this is not a price prediction, but I'm just giving you guys the heads up of these are risky. But as far as the most likely week that I do see, just logically speaking here, from the options activity, as well as we do know, the longer this does go out, the more short interest we're going to get, the more naked shorting that's going to be going on, the harder it is to borrow these shares or sell these shares short, the better off the squeeze will be. And when you add the option activity in, that is like the icing on the cake or the cherry on the sundae. Now, if we do look at this option chain for July 16th, we see 85,067 options that are in the money 192,506 that are currently out the money so that's going to be the next biggest expiration date up until this september 17th day where we obviously have 121,000 that are in the money 37,000 that are out the money so i do think the most likely week to go to these high high price points on amc would be july 16th now i do want to route your guys attention back to the actual days on loan or, or the average days on loan and 
back to what I was saying about some shorts either covering that were in this for uh, since the bottom, right? That essentially got the worst hand of all of this being on the sh short side or the losing side of AMC. But we are seeing new shorts piling in. So this is actually a great thing. If we can hold the line at these prices, a lot of shorts that are getting in at these prices in between that 50 and 60 dollar range once we get to about 70 80 90 dollars or even a hundred dollars in between there you're going to see a lot of shorts that don't want to go down a thousand two thousand percent on their positions like these previous shorts had so that's where you're going to see a lot of covering going on to try to mitigate losses as well as some hedge funds that are actually trying to protect their positions by selling these calls or selling these puts that's where you're going to see a lot of hedging that is going on at these prices points driving us up higher than this so the longer we do consolidate out long story short the more shorts that do pile into this the better it will be now i hope this lasts for another month or at least to july 16th so we can get this short interest back up over 20 percent because that is categorized ex as extreme short interest and that's ultimately the bigger and better the squeeze will be when it comes down to it. We need that short squeeze and the gamma squeeze at the same time as well as FOMO buying. And obviously a lot of people rushing into contracts, which just makes the market makers hedge even more with the delta hedging that they do do. But I do want to point you guys out something else that we're actually seeing more shorts shorting AMC stock as we do currently speak. Uh, this was uh, June 25th so this was actually Friday and we did have 42,000 uh, shares that were shorted 76,000 that were shorted that was by JP Morgan and we're not seeing a lot of people actually covering their short positions we still see Citadel which shorted AMC stock at $6.16 with 5,676,200 shares that are staying in their position and like I said earlier that's for $58 million so roughly speaking they're down about 950% which would equal out to about 500 million dollars in the negative so especially once you get to about a billion dollars in losses or two billion dollars in losses citadel is going to cut their losses give up on this fight and ultimately cover their short positions now i do want to bounce back and i do apologize for bouncing around quite a lot here there's a lot of information to try to get out to you guys i do want to point out the july 16th option chain as well to see our key levels that we're going to want to watch for if we are trying to predict when this gamma squeeze and short squeeze will actually happen and my chart is not working with me right now maybe it's the tornado maybe it's a tornado warning uh, but I do help hope it loads here quickly maybe I'm losing power that's not a good thing but uh, let's see exactly what is going on and we'll actually look at the July 2nd because that wants to load first uh, and the $60 expert strike has almost 12,000 open interest so that is nothing compared to what we even seen last week at about 33,000 contracts that were in open interest at this $60 strike and then after 60 65 only has about 4,500 options so we're not gonna see a significant gamma squeeze if this does happen next week that's why i hope it does not happen next week but with the 60 dollar call for july 16th we have about 14,000 contracts at the 60 that will for the most part need to be hedged for and then we have like zero activity up until 65 we have 38 3800 almost 3900 and then once you get to 70 guys once you get to that 70 dollar price point that's where you're going to see a lot of shorts that are going to have to cover their short positions as well as do a lot of delta hedging for these contracts at the 70 you have 30,381 contracts as well as the 75 at 15,292 contracts and then you see a significant increase all the way up to this $100 strike you have 27,546 contracts as well as 21,697 contracts at the 110 and then you're seeing in between 5,000 7,000 and even 2,000 contracts in between these and then obviously at the 145 you have about 41,000 contracts so I do think it's possible we go to 145 by this day especially if we do see the shorts covering amc stock price going up as well as more options activity coming in mixed with the FOMO buyers i think 145 is possible i would still be mindful of the risk that is here in case we don't go to 145 by this date because i can't put a time frame on this i just want to give you guys the best most realistic time to actually see this short squeeze happen so if you guys have more information 
about who is saying or why they are saying the short squeeze will actually happen next week let me know that information down below in the comment section as well as check out the link down below for public up to $70 in your choice of free stock no deposit necessary no need to even link a bank account and they do not route your order flows to companies like Citadel the only other brokerages that do not do that is Fidelity and Merrill Lynch and then obviously public so if you guys are not signed up with that if you did it right now you'd have your free stock in about three minutes time it is free money check that out as well as the link for Weeble deposit $100, start a account, and get four free stocks, each one valued up to $2,400, guys. This is an insane deal, and they're giving out great stocks. And the only reason I do have the Weeble link, just so you guys know, is because you can actually turn off a setting so they cannot borrow your shares and let them be sold short or do whatever they want with them. You can actually change the setting in your Weeble account so that does not happen. But with all that being said, make sure to check out the link down below for the buy and sell alerts to be notified every single time a trade is made on AMC or any other other stock we have been killing it but until next time you guys take care